It's our first episode of Makina Riders. We have actor and show host Ryan Agoncillo. I finally caught up with him in Carmona. Busy guy we have here juggling family and work. In all this time, despite us having a lot of common friends, I never really got to ride with him. Even in that one time that I got to ride with a brand pack. Which, by the way, ayoko nang karide yung mga yun. Pumapangit ako eh. Anyway, he started his love affair with two wheels in 1999 while still at school. He started out with a Vespa PX150 and through the years has gone through so many bikes. In three, two, one. Vespa LX150, Piaggio Zip, Gilera Fuoco, Kawasaki KSR, Sax Madass, Honda Ruckus 50, Honda Steed 600, Honda Super 4, Honda RC51, Ducati M900, Ducati Monster S2R1000, Ducati 996, Ducati Scram, Ducati Custom Hyper Motor, KTM Freeride 350, KTM SMCR 690, Husqvarna FS450, Harley Davidson Sportster 883, Harley Davidson Sportster 48, Royal Enfield Classic 500, and a couple of Yamaha WR450Fs, which he uses for his daily commute. Yes, at the Xilayan Samotor. How did you start out? Ah, uh, sa utak ko, bata pa lang ako, may motor na ako. Pero <laughs> pinayagan ng lola ko. So, eventually, mga 19 na ako nakapagsimula. My first motorcycle was a Vespa PX150. Okay. Yes. Ano, ang pangarap ko lang kasi noon, sabi ko parang astig yata ang pumasok sa school ng nakamotor. No? Special offer yung dealership ng Vespa noon. Hulugan para sa mga empleyado. Would you consider yourself more of a motorcycle guy or a car guy? Uh, I, I I like cars, uh, but I love motorcycles. Nung time na kumot na drifting ako ng uh, mga Japanese cars, parang ano eh, parang face, yun yung face. Sa rami rami mong bikes, ano yung type or classification na bike na gusto ng gusto mo? The genre, the type of bike that you like. So what's your favorite so far today? Sa totoo lang, today, today, <laughs> tong araw na to super moto. Parang yung feeling na kung ano yung motor na sakyan mo, na gamit mo, yun yung perfect for you for the day. Kung ano yung pag-easing mo na mood mo. Kasi nung may panahon naman na isa lang yung scooter ko, yung Vespa ng motor ko, feeling ko ang ganda-ganda na niya eh. Walang ibang tatalo sa kanya. Nung una, nung bata ako sa rabi, yung puta ko sa kinds of motorcycles. No? First, sabi ko, scooter lang ako. And then, nakasubok ako mag-bruiser. And I loved it. Yung naka-bruiser ako, pinagtatawan ako yung mga naka-sport bike. <laughs> Tapos, Nakatikim ako ng sport bike. Sabi ko, hindi ko ma-imagine about five years after my first scooter. Uy, naka-sport bike ako. Grabe, masarap pala. <laughs> Pero napunta ako sa standard bikes, sa standard naked bikes. And I was like, Uy, what a good mix. But then it came full circle. Noong nag-balik scooter ako. And then now, kahit ano na, basta dalawa, kahit nga tatlong gulong, papatulang ko, basta mga naka-handle bar yan. Eh. Do you have any plans to compete professionally? Or is it something like a, a Sunday thing for you with friends? or? Ah, uh, competition siguro hindi. But uh, the past three years kasi, I've been, I've been more of a motorcycle commuter. I'm actually logging more miles now than when I was a kid. Kasi, ang reality sa Pilipina, tatlong oras na traffic sa araw-araw, o kalahating oras na masaya ka papunta ng mga So, mas papunta doon. Kahit ano, kahit sa susubuhan ko. Pero yung competition siguro, Parang ano, parang hindi siya, wala sa sa... Wala sa mood mo ngayon. You guys recently went to the Himalayas. Um, yeah. Tell us about that. That's like three weeks ba? Two weeks? That was uh, 16 days of riding. Oh my gosh. So it's officially our first morning here in New Delhi and uh, we are here at Royal Enfield in Sakit to pick up our steeds for the Himalayan adventure. Here we go. So we've got team, there's seven of us. Enfield Classic 500s, and that right there is the Himalayan. The route that we did is called the Le Ladak. Himalaya is here, Ate. North India, and then there's Nepal, and then there's Pakistan, and then China. And around the world, because of the internet, a lot of people have been discovering the route and ginagawa nila. Ayun, sila natin yung mga motor mo. Sa amin, ang kanyang challenge kami kasi nandun yung highest motorable peak in the world. Of course. Uh, the Cargo Lock Pass, which is 18,380 feet. Wow! To the people who showed us love, sending out some good vibes on the top of the world. Counterclockwise route, which is basically about 3,600 kilometers long. The counterclockwise route, steep yung ascent. Steep yung ascent niya. Ang problema doon yung acclimatization kasi may ipis na yung hangin. Okay. But what, what, what that does is, 
since umakit ka na ng umakit, panayad na yung pagbaba mo. Kami, ang ginawa namin, we chose the clockwise route. Okay. Kasi, kinabahan kami, none of us had ridden in alpine conditions na talagang malami. At saka yung at altitude. So what we did, we chose na lang the more banayad route pa akyat. It was a, it was a barrage of rocks, really big, and we were just about a bike apart each. A rock about half the size of the motorcycle was headed straight for Jimmy, and there was no time to react. For some reason, it pachinkoed off another rock and missed him completely. Uh, we dodged the bullet there. In those times, how was food? Ano ba? Already kaya for 16 uh, days? Or? Hindi ano yon? Uh, Andal lang namin doon parang mga totoo brief at may just na yung kain. Ang mga, parang mga isang linggo kami kumakain ng instant noodles tsaka itlog. Kasi yun lang ang naluluto at attitude eh. Um, thank you so much. Uh, and Nan, you always ride safe. I hope to ride with you one day also. Thank you very and, uh, much. Salamat. Thank you sir. May the flow be with you. Paano call of nature nyo, man? Paano yung pag-ano na? <laughs> diba? Ano yun? Medyo ra rock and roll na ata kayo nyan pag ganun. Eh, hindi lang rock and roll. Medyo heavy metal. Kung <laughs> uh, sa katatnan, yun na yan. Hanap ka na. 